3.3, numbers 6, 9, and 10. All three of these problems want us to find the slope of a line given that it's going through two points. So the two points for number 6 are minus 10, minus 4, and minus 15, minus 6. We're going to use the slope formula because we're given the data points. And that will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 will equal the slope. So we can pick either point to be point number 1. The only thing you got to make sure of is if we call this x point here, um, or x coordinate, x1, we have to call the y that goes with it y1. We can't call it y2. So let's call this point number 1, point number 2. And we would get the same answer if we switched it and called this one point 1 and point 2. So plugging into the point to the um, slope formula, y2 minus y1, we get y2 minus 6, take away y1 is minus 4, and watch that we get a double negative there, and over x2 minus 15, take away x1 minus 10. Again, we have a double negative happening there. And now we just figure out what that is. It's going to be minus 6 plus 4 over minus 15 plus 10, or minus 2 over minus 5, so we get an answer of 2 fifths. And anytime you get a fraction slope answer, make sure you reduce it completely. And now let's look at number 9. Number 9, we again want to find the slope. And we are given two different points. We're given the points 4, 8, and minus 7, 8. Again, we're going to use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this time, just to do it different, I'm going to pick this point over here, the second point, to be point number 1. So it gets x1 and y1. And I'll choose this point to be point number 2, x2, y2. Plug it into the formula, y2, which is 8, take away y1 is 8, over x2, 4, take away x1, minus 7, gives us 0, over 11, that gives us 0. Anything over, or 0 divided by anything is going to give us 0, and if you ever forget which one gives the answer? Is it 0 over a number or a number over 0? Plug it into your calculator and see. 0 divided by 11 is going to give you a 0 out. If you do 11 divided by 0, you should get an error message on your calculator. That would tell you instead that the answer is undefined. So this point, this line going through the points 4, 8, and minus 7, 8 has a slope of 0. And it would be interesting to draw it out. If you have time right now, make a graph and draw your two points. You'll see that you get a horizontal line. And let's do number 10 now. Same idea. We want to find the slope going through two points. And we are given 6 minus 9 and 6 minus 10. And we want to find the slope. So let's call this point number 1, x1, y1. Point number 2, x2, y2. And we'll use the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plugging in the values, we get y2 is minus 10. Take away, y1 is minus 9. All over x2, which is 6 take away x1, which is 6 again, and that equals minus 1 over 0. And a number divided by 0 is always going to be undefined, so this has no slope. And if we were to draw this one out in a graph, and if you have time, go ahead and do that now. Uh, draw your point 6 minus 9 and 6 minus 10. Draw a line through them, you'll see you get a vertical line. And a vertical line has an undefined slope. 